motivation sucks. Let's talk about that and more now. Motivation sucks. And as many of us are thinking about or planning or already working towards goals for the new year, I want to talk about why we cannot focus solely on motivation as we work towards those goals. The main reason is that motivation is just a feeling. And like happiness, like sadness, like anger, the feeling of motivation can change from one moment to another. We've probably found ourselves in a situation in which we set a goal for ourselves and we draw upon motivation at least for a few days, maybe a few weeks. But ultimately, we encounter a day where our motivation goes from quote-unquote motivated to quote-unquote unmotivated. For example, we might know that we have to go for a run today. And you either wake up or you get back from work and it's dark it's rainy, it's cold, and you're not going to want to go for the run. If we're relying solely on motivation, the likelihood that you go is zero. The problem is, what if the motivation doesn't come back tomorrow or the next day or the next day as well? Then the days that we're not working towards our goal is not just one, but maybe it's two or three or four Five days. More likely than not, what happens is we end up looking back, asking ourselves, why wasn't I able to achieve this goal? How many of us have found ourselves in this situation? I love dishes. Probably not too many of us. I know that I have not found myself in a situation where I've been extremely motivated to do the dishes. But if I can accomplish the task of doing dishes without motivation, then I can also accomplish tasks and goals that I set out for myself without having motivation as well. And that brings us to the principle and the concept that I want to talk about with you today. The good news is that this Principle is a skill, and it's one that can be learned. The principle is discipline. The concept is discipline equals freedom. I pulled it from Jocko Willink. And while you hear the concept, your mind may first go to, that sounds contradictory. Discipline and freedom in the same sentence. But let me highlight with an example. I'd like to also highlight the example as one that we can all relate to. And that is wanting to be financially free. In order for you to be financially free, you're going to have to be disciplined with your finances. What do I mean by disciplined with your finances? Well, probably everybody's favorite word, budget. You're going to have to adhere to a budget and Identify how much money you'd like to put into savings so that you can achieve financial freedom, however you define that. It also means eliminating unnecessary spending or resisting the click of Amazon to have a package delivered to your door that day or in two days or whatever it is. The more disciplined you are to your goal, the more freedom you're going to find. This isn't to mean that you have to be 100% disciplined, although that should be our ultimate goal because there are times where you just can't resist that click. In those moments, it's an opportunity to recalibrate and to get back on track. The one thing that I've learned as we're going through this process of being more disciplined in my life is in order for me to be successful, I have to keep my focus and my goals at the forefront of my mind. Why am I doing this? 
So when you are out at the store, back to our financial uh, example, when you're at the store and you're thinking about getting that purchase of who knows what, that is not going to be extremely useful. It's just a fun purchase. Thinking about does this align with our future financial freedom? And if it doesn't, then don't make the purchase. Next, try to keep the number of focus items or goals that you are currently working towards manageable. And what I mean by manageable is no more than a handful. As you're working towards too many items, it's easier to let certain things fall through the cracks and you're less likely to achieve those goals. Lastly, I recommend consistent check-ins with how you're doing compared to the goal that you set for yourself. Evaluate if you're on target, and if not, not to worry. Create a plan that allows you to get back on track so that you can achieve your goal. No matter what you are trying to accomplish this year, I wish you the discipline in order to achieve your goals. And no matter what you do, I hope you continue to do, to be, and to inspire good in the world. 